Steve Arnold from Science Channel's uh, Meteorite Men television series, and today I am offering a vial of vaca morte crumbs. And if you can kind of see here, uh, we've got a little vial attached to a card photo of Jeff and myself standing uh, in one of the impact pits there at Vaca Morte. Uh, if you saw the TV episode of us being down there, you know what this is about. Um, a lot of meteorites landed there at Vaca Morte, uh, which ironically, Vaca, uh, the, the sign shows here, uh, Vaca Morte is dead cow in Spanish. And um, if you've seen our show, you know where that may have come from uh, and solve the mystery was it really a cow or not and uh, anyway wh what's really fun is there were a bunch of pieces 80 some odd pieces uh, quite a few a dozen really big pieces of this meteorite uh, fell and uh, it's a really rare meteorite. It's a, it's a mesosiderite, which is one of the two types of stony irons. Um, the other one is palisite, which you may be a little more familiar with, where it's half olivine crystal, half iron, pretty much. Um, mesosiderites are ones that are about half percent nickel iron and half other stony material. Uh, which which most likely formed in the collision of an iron asteroid with a stone asteroid in space, melted, it got all mixed together, it solidified again, another asteroid came along, broke it into pieces, one of the pieces arrived down in the Atacama Desert in Chile. And so we're out there looking for other pieces and we come upon this impact pit where there had been a meteorite that hit and landed and... Um, it all of a sudden we we started finding little fragments and we found a lot of little tiny fragments and so um i kind of it was like do we waste time picking up these little fragments or do we go on looking for the big chunks that might have been missed and it's really hard to leave something behind on the ground so we spent quite a bit of time um digging through there finding bags of this stuff uh, and i even i even quip on the show uh that, you know, I bet you somebody would pay $5 for a vial of this. Well, one gram of vodka morte is about worth $5. You can find some a little bit cheaper than that if you're lucky. You can find some that are that's more expensive it's, if it's really high quality vodka morte. A lot of what's on the market are just little rust fragments bigger than this, but chunks that just have a window polished on it. Um, for many years, it was the only mesosiderite available to collectors. Since then, there's been then there's been other ones found, but still, it's a really rare type. I think there's only about 50 of them known in the world. Uh, really, um, really hard to get. So, with this, you get some little fragments of the uh, vaca morte, and you also get the memento on the back as a COA, uh, personally signed by me, mentioning that this was found on the TV show. Five bucks, can't beat that. Um, a great little souvenir. Uh, you get a piece if you're collecting different types of meteorite. Uh, the mesosiderites are a little bit hard to find, although um, you can get some other uh, vaca morte, and eventually I'll get some bigger pieces up for sale. Right now, I just want to make this uh, easy and affordable and cheap. So great collectible. Uh, hope you uh, enjoy it. Thanks for your interest.